One of the foundational requirements of an education is to be literate. This initiative is only going to help our students become stronger. That is going to make our community stronger. What I love about this program is it's not like school. Premium it's not academic. We want to foster a love of reading. Literacy is a skill that I think is very important, especially if it's developed in the very young age. I didn't grow up in a very safe atmosphere. Premium. Reading and school were like my safe places. We are working with children who may not always choose reading as the activity that they want to partake in. Some of the kids that I can see, they're having some of the same issues that I had when I was a kid. This concept of near-peer mentors, college students working with young adolescents in a literacy mentoring program has a uniqueness to it that we haven't quite seen in other literacy initiatives. They need reading for their entire life and anything that they do. And then academically, obviously to pass the tests, but even more so just to understand things that they're reading and to understand the world around them. I've seen quite a few students reignite a passion for reading or gain a passion for reading. I'm able to see how literature transcends several different barriers and it's definitely amazing to see. The district as well as the administrators at these schools were so intrigued by some of the preliminary results that we were sharing with them that they wanted to expand to the elementary schools at the fifth grade level and extend into seventh grade at Booker Middle. As such, this year, we now have a fifth grade, a sixth grade, and a seventh grade version of Secret Society of Readers for Young Adolescents in Sarasota County. My name is Cheryl Ellerock and I'm an associate professor of middle grades and general education, as well as the campus dean for the Sarasota Manatee Campus for the College of Education. Here at USF, we do things in teams. This initiative is representative of a, a, a multitude of individuals. In particular, we have an assistant professor of literacy instruction, Dr. Lindsay Persson. She, um, as well as others, gathered together to brainstorm how will we affect change for young adolescents in the area of reading and literacy education. And through these series of meetings, we were able to come up with a concept that we coined Secret Society of Readers. The big idea is that we encourage kids uh, to build a lifelong love of learning through reading and wide reading in particular and exposure to books. We invite um, young people to come and work with a college age mentor around reading. We read together, we talk about books, we choose books based on interests or, or guide young people to choose books that they would be interested in and then give them the space and encourage them to read those books. I started to see students having a passion for reading. Typically at a Title I school, when you have lower level readers, actually it's within a school. Kids don't have a love for reading. This initiative allowed not only our scholars to be linked to mentors that are currently working in the program, but it allowed our scholars an opportunity to really see the benefits of becoming successful readers. I found this mentorship opportunity. I saw it in an ad, actually. It sounded really interesting, something that kind of melded everything together that I really like to do. Once we got into it, they're like, it's middle schoolers. I was like, oh no, not middle schoolers. But now I love them, they won my heart. We have mentors who are college-age students, and we call them near-peer mentors. I tend to share a lot of you know, insights back and forth, and I actually find out a lot of uh, hobbies in common like soccer with some of the kids, so it's been a nice thing to discover. Other mentoring programs don't have that. They usually have older volunteers or, um, you know, adults in classrooms to mentor young adolescents. Your peer mentors, what's unique in that is that they have a lot of, lot more shared interests 
and they're able to create stronger relationships because they can connect to, to more things. They can make deeper connections, deeper bonds, because they're so close in age. It's just wonderful when I go upstairs to the Secret Society of Readers. I just love the focus. Our students are so excited to be with their USF mentors, and it's all revolved about reading. In the beginning of the program, you can kind of see that they're a little bit shy about the areas that they're not uh, as good in. They might not be a strong reader when it comes to reading history, but they might be good at reading fiction. As the program progresses, they get a little bit more comfortable. They come out of their shell and they'll tell you like, oh, I'm not great at history, or I don't know anything about the government or whatever. And you can sort of teach them in those areas and focus on their weak points and also focus on making their strong points even stronger. They've done a lot of work with building their stamina in reading. At the beginning of the program, our students, their stamina was not where it should be and they could not make it even five minutes reading <laughs> just silently. And now they're making it over 10. Young adolescents from the ages 10 to 15 are a unique group of individuals that have unique needs and interests. I think seeing that there's someone there for them, seeing that the, that we are people who they can talk to, it's a great thing to see how the kids are opening up to us and seeing that we're there to help them. So participating in this program allowed me to connect with a bunch of very smart kids. We go through uh, books every week. We go through insights that they take away from every uh, reading session. We even participate in activities where we draw specific characters from the books. It's always um, interesting to see the different stories and perspectives we get from um, these kids along our sessions. So it's always a beautiful thing. For many of these students, reading has been something they've been told they're not very good at. And so to have someone who believes in them, who listens to them, who has proven week after week after week that they are there for them, it builds an environment and a structure to where taking on a risk such as reading feels a little more safe. It's definitely a lot harder than I expected and I've grown to have a lot of respect for, for teachers. I know that being a teacher is a very difficult job, but now that I'm hands-on being a mentor slash teacher to these students, I can really see the work and the effort that the teachers go through year around. We were pretty amazed at the impacts that this program has had on mentors. I want to say four mentors who are, we get mentors from all different majors and all different schools at the, at the college. I want to say four of them have decided to leave their major and they are majoring in education now. They want to become teachers. About 12 years ago, there was a lot of publicity that not every child graduated from high school. And I was told it wasn't high school where children dropped out, they dropped out in elementary school when they had difficulty reading. One of the things we hope to do is expose these children to vibrant enrichment so they can dream to be things that they might not have known about. Literacy is a skill that uh, I think is very important, especially if it's developed in the very young age, because it gets to a point where um, it becomes a habit. And so it's easier to keep reading if you've developed the habit as a kid, which is what we're doing here. We're doing so, such a great work where we are helping the kids develop such a wonderful, beautiful skill that helps them not only read, but also it helps them analyze and look at information in a critical way. Literacy skills are pretty much important for everything. I mean, if you're going to work in any field or go to college, you definitely need to know how to read and um, comprehend what you're reading. And I mean, if I couldn't read, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> That's part of what we aim to do here is to expand conceptions of what reading really is. We really want to encourage kids to read what they want to read so that they can learn what they want to learn. Education is extremely important. As an African-American woman, it's opened doors for me as a female leader not only in this community but quite frankly uh, throughout the nation and many doors of opportunities have been open as a result of my 
by literacy skills, being able to uh, connect with others, being able to mentor others. Literacy is the key to ensuring that one can truly be successful in life.